hello everybody and welcome back to my channel the video I'm going to film today is going to be entered in the Inspire Fall Halloween DIY and uh, this is hosted monthly by Elena from Elena DIYs and her co-host this month is and I'm going to read it because it's long uh, Faith Chicks 777 DIY by Design uh, Linda <laughs> she, the, her name is Linda I'm going to leave as usual the links for both challenges and the playlist in the description box please visit the channels of the hostesses I'm not going to say anything about them you have to see it for yourself by yourself but believe me it's something that you can miss it's a must and please also watch the videos in the playlist and uh, leave some sub comments, some love, likes, <laughs> subscribe. That helps us a lot. Uh, as this um, challenge can be inspired by fall or Halloween, I decided to do something for Halloween. I love Halloween. I don't decorate for fall till November the 2nd because I love Halloween so much that I, as I said the other day, I transform my house in Halloween land. So, this is inspired in something I saw at uh, Dollar Tree. It's not exactly like the one I saw, but it's inspired in that piece. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture to show you, but if you go to Dollar Tree, you will probably see it is a skull the um, one uh, at Dollar Tree doesn't have this part of the head and is hollow so you can put treats on it and it's in between hands and it stands by itself so I'm going to do something similar first of all I painted the hands that you can get at Dollar Tree also as well as the skull with Rustoleum Antique Pewter is a paint and plus primer and after I painted it I use this it's, this is an eyeshadow that I bought from China and I use them for distressing they are really really inexpensive and I use them not for my eyes but for distressing and what I do is I take a bit with my finger and for example I do this you see and I distress if it's too much I just with a clean finger rub a little bit and remove the excess so that's what I did let me clean my finger with a wipe from Dollar Tree also <laughs> uh, what would it would be of my life without Dollar Tree? I don't know. Okay, so I just just the hands, as you can see. I hope you see the different tones, silver and black, on both sides. And I also distress the skull, the the eyes, the teeth, the supposed nose and some of this I don't know how you call it <laughs> okay now for the stand I hope you know already my daughter and I are dumpsters divers dumpster divers so we find a lot of things at the dumpsters and one thing we found was this stand it had the um, plant pot on it um, the plant pot was broken and the stand was also broken this was in place but didn't have this other piece here so I cut it and I paint, spray painted this part again with Rustoleum again paint with primer in flat black 
So now I am going to add some bling <laughs> to the skull. I have this. I don't know how to call it, rhinestones, but they are really large. They are, in fact, they are buttons, they have the holes that are also from the dumpster. We found this, uh, I don't know how to, to say how, it, how you call this, excuse me, you know, my problems with the English. Um, it has three, of course there was one missing, that's why they threw it to the garbage. So I'm going to use two. Let me Cover this for the eyes of the skull. So I'm going to add a generous amount of hot glue. And hopefully this will stay. Don't move, don't dare to move. Okay, now let's do the other eye. I need more glue. Again, a lot of hot glue. And here we go with the other eye. Let's press a little bit. And I think it looks like I want it to look. So now I'm going to glue the hands first to the stand. I tried before and I think I'll get it where I want it to be, them to be. Hopefully everything will go smoothly. And here. Let me have more glue here. Okay, let's wait for a second. And let's do the same with the other hand. Oops. Like so. And after a few seconds, please bear with me. In the meantime, you can subscribe, <laughs> like this video, okay, ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload, it, upload a new video. Of course, I will remind you about this in the end, <laughs> at the end of this video. And so I'm going to add the skull. I don't know exactly what it touches the hands, but I'm going to guess that it's here. Anyway, I can add more glue later. Okay, it looks like it's staying in place. Yay! Yes, I can move it and it doesn't come apart. Oh my god. 
well so this is the final result I have to clean some parts but you can see how it looks now that it's finished as you can see this is a very quick very easy um, and very inexpensive um, DIY and you can have a touch of Halloween and bling <laughs> uh, glamour to your Halloween decor at home with just three pieces plus the eyes and if you don't have this stand you can make it with um, those uh, blocks from the tumbling tower uh, you can easily make a stand like this with this those pieces I have to remove these parts of hot glue seems it's moving well I will have to add more hot glue later but you can see you can get the idea as I said before I hope you like this video and you will give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done it already and ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video thank you so much to both hostesses for hosting this challenge please visit their channels and please visit the playlist and watch the videos I will also leave a link to my daughter and I dumpster diver channel uh, dumpster diving channel which is dumpster chicks but you will find the link in the description box if you would like to pay a visit that would make us really really happy and you will have a lot of fun believe me seeing us going through a lot of treasures in the dumpsters hope to see you in my next video and hope you will have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye